Hello, welcome to a new video of the course about GIS for municipality management. At this uh, new model, we are going to speak about GBZ Online. GBZ Online is an integrated platform for creation of spatial data infrastructures. This is a service that the GBZ Association uh, is offering, and to implement it, you uh, you have to con to contact us to this uh, web. Uh, to this uh, email address info, dot, uh, info at uh, gbc.com and I'm going to show you how GBC Online works and uh, how you can connect GBC Online with uh, GBC uh, Desktop GBC Desktop you can download it uh, from the gbc.com website but GBC Online uh, needs a, uh, an implementation so you have you uh, would need to contact us uh, to implement GBC Online in your uh, organization. So uh, I, I, ha I have connected uh, to uh, GBC Online and we have uh, the public viewers that are the geo portals uh, that are accessible by the citizens, for example, in a, in a municipality. Uh, you can create a lot of uh, public viewers. Then you have the mapping uh, services that are the the web services that you have in the viewers, but uh, that you can access from the uh, desktop application. For example, for example, you have the metadata catalog, and you have the uh, application, the mobile application, that you can connect with UBC Online too. Then I have access with my uh, user and from here we can see that uh, we have the dashboard where we can manage the different projects uh, that we can uh, create. In GBC Online you won't be able, uh, you, will, uh, you will be able to create uh, as many projects as you want with uh, a lot of uh, layers uh, for different uh, users or groups of users, etc. And first of all, I want to show you the uh, services. At the ho at home uh, menu, at home uh, web page, we have the projects that we have uh, created with my user. I have these three uh, projects, and uh, some of them uh, can be public for the uh, citizen, for the, for the community or they can be uh, private only for internal management in a city council for example if you have uh, different departments and you don't want to publish the cartography only for the departments you can create private uh, projects then from services we have the data stores we have to create to add a new data st store. Uh, here I have the data store that, that I'm going to use for this for the project uh, that I want to create. And uh, I'm going to use this uh, data store, municipality uh, GIS. Then you can create uh, base layers. These layers are the uh, main layers that, that you can add in different uh, projects. For example, the, if you have a web map service with the auto photo of you, or you have the streets uh, map, you can create a base layer and you can add this base layer to the different projects that you create. So we are going to add a new base layer. Uh, we are going to add a web map service where uh, the project will be uh, focused in uh, Zurich, in Switzerland and you have at uh, the folder with the cartography that you, ha that you have downloaded for this, uh, for this model you have a text, uh, a text uh, file with the web map service that we are going to use we will load it in GBC Desktop uh, later. So here we have the web map service and uh, we are going to select web map service here, URL, we connect 
and here we have the <coughs> the title and the version uh, of the web map service the layers we can select the different layers for example we are going to select this one the auto photo and the formats that are offered by this server we are going to select this one the title will be ortho ortho photo then uh, we can press photo and zurich for example and we press save and here we have at the at the other page we have the zurich auto photo as a, a base layer well then we can create a group groups of layers here we have the option and we can uh, we can assign the uh, the group to the different projects for example we have i have different groups and each one is uh, assigned assigned to uh, a different project we are going to create a new layer group that will be municipality GIS this is the name and also the title or I am the title could be with spaces uh, we are going to save it and here we have the new group uh, the new layer groups the new layer group and now we are going to uh, create a new project for that we can we have to access to projects menu and we have the option here add project then the project will be municipality EIS the title the name without spaces description Zurich for example municipality EIS it will be public and the table of contents will be shown with the layers and we are going the, it is it will be the zoom uh, when we open the project uh, we have to select the zoom that will be in our in our project so we are going to look for a Zurich Switzerland and here we have for example this zoom we are going to select this zoom we can uh, we can insert uh, an image for example we have here the icon uh, here oh, sorry model no it's in a uh, cartography we have this image we have to select the base layers so we are going to the last uh, or we are going to look uh, Zurich or the photo it will be a sign and it will be marked as default we have to assign the user groups for this project i will be the user the user group and we have to select the layer groups that we want to include in this project so we are going to select municipality eis all the layers that we are that we are going to add at this group of layer layers will appear in our project well we press save and we have our new project so from the from 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 the home here we can see the municipality EIS with the icon of uh, Zurich 
and it will be our new first uh, project with the zoom that we have selected and the Zurich Earth photo is the uh, base layer that we have uh, selected well now I'm, I'm going to GBC desktop to add a new layer that I want to uh, export to purchase and I will publish it in GBC uh, online so I'm going to create a new view in reference system for 3 to 6 I'm going to accept and I'm going to add a new layer that will be Th uh, Zurich streets it's in that reference system and this is the layer that I I'm going to export to PostGIS so from export to or layer export to database I press next I have the connection name is uh, PostGIS the name the name of the server etc I press next new table Zurich streets for example I press next this is the possible errors next and next and the reference system and all the records it's been exported to Porsches now and that layer it is the layer that I will uh, publish from uh, GBC online so now it's at the I I'm not uh, I'm not going to add this layer here this layer now it's at the uh, geospatial database Porsches then from GBC online I'm going to the dashboard the groups of layers from here layer groups and municipality EIS and from here I'm going to public put to publish a layer I accept data store is municipality EIS here we have Zurich streets the title Zurich streets the layer group is this one municipality GIS it will be visible by default it will be queryable uh, and catched for example we press next the groups that will manage this layer for reading everybody and for writing only my user and I save this uh, group with this layer so if I press F5 if I update the, the, web layer, the web page I have the Zurich streets that we can see zoom to layer here we have the zoom and we can change the uh, the symbology to see the, the layer in a better way so from symbology layer styles the last page Zurich streets I'm going to update the style for example 
now it's a black color I'm going to add a new line okay a new one for example here we can we can write the scale uh, the minimum scale and maximum scale to be shown the layer and I'm going to pre to update the preview in Zurich and here we have this is the preview so we can increase this this size too I'm going to update and then I'm going to save after saving if we go to the to the project we can see if I press update it's uh, because of the cache but here we can see the uh, Zurich streets with the new uh, symbology well now I have two options to edit this layer I can do it from the uh, from the uh, GBC online or I can do it from a uh, GBC desktop so here we have the the layer and at this point for example we have the bridge and I'm going to GBC desktop I have only the shape file but I'm going to add new layer a layer and Portuguese uh, sorry not raster but a vector this is the connection and I'm going to connect to the layer that I have exported before that is Zurich streets here I accept and I have the Porges, the vector uh, layer in Porges that I can start editing before uh, starting editing I'm going to add a uh, a web map service it will be this web map service and from GBC desktop I'm going to add layer web map service control V I'm going to connect and I'm going to select this ortho photo double click we press next reference system of the view and the format and I'm going to accept here we have the the bridge this is the bridge I'm going to change the symbology and this way you will see it better and here we have the uh, bridge I'm going to, uh, for example, I'm going to select this this line, and I can uh, move, copy, rotate. So I'm going to copy this uh, line here, for example. I'm going to edit vertex vertexes here. this line and I can move the vertex here for example we can do a uh, copy again and or we can create a uh, new lines from gbc to 2.4 we can do it 
in Portuguese and here for example and here well I'm going to finish editing save and after that if I go to GBC online if I update we can see that we have these two elements that I have, five, that I have, I have added from GPC desktop well we can we have seen how to work in GPC uh, online I'm going to show you another example this is a successful case study in a, a municipality of uh, Spain in this case is Pobla de Baibona this is a municipality in Valencia in Spain they have the public viewer uh, uh, section where they have uh, a lot of uh, projects each, each project has uh, different uh, layers and for example I have I want to highlight this one that is the uh, all the elements that, that they have uh, in the uh, in the town they have for example fountains they have uh, the chairs they have the uh, games uh, the trash and for example the games for all the elements they have all the information the alphanumerical information as well as the uh, the pictures and th it has been done with GBC mobile uh, they have uh, they have been uh, getting all the information with the GPS and GBC mobile uh, all the elements uh, filling in the the attribute table and uh, with the pictures of the different uh, elements and another example is uh, another functionality uh, it's uh, new in GBC uh, online is the temporary tool so for this project for example we have the cadastre, the cadastre in this uh, municipality for the, for the town we have for example this area we have the all the parcels and if we enable the temporary tool we can get the information of the different days or uh, months or years for example we can see the changes between the different uh, dates here we can see new streets and it's available in GBC in the last version of GBC uh, online and for finishing if you are interested in uh, integrate in uh, implement your uh, GBC online in your entity in your organization you can contact us uh, to this uh, mail uh, address okay we will continue at the next video see you